So I think there were several things in there that were very interesting. So the first thing was that he announced there would be a commitment to basic research in the future, and I think that's really good. It's better to do basic research than just answer specific applied questions. So that was really interesting. And then he said that there would be more national laboratories set up, and I think that's also a really interesting initiative that national laboratories will be set up to target particular problems. So I'll be interested to see how that develops. I think from my own personal view, it was really interesting to see that he said there were three areas in the country that would be the real high ground of science and technology in the future. So one was uh, Beijing, Hairo, uh, another one was Shanghai, but the one that was most interesting to me was the Greater Bay Area because I've just moved my lab to Shenzhen, and of course Shenzhen is right in the middle of the Greater Bay Area. So I think that sort of commitment to development there is really interesting personally to me. I think there were two other things that were really quite important in his speech. One was a commitment to globalization, so basically recognizing that science is a global endeavor and that China wants to play its part in that and have an open role in science into the future. So I think that, that was really nice to hear. And then the last thing was, no scientist in the world, if you ask them what they want, is going to say, what we really need is more bureaucracy. So all scientists want to have less bureaucracy in their lives. And he made a real commitment that uh, there should be a reduction in the amount of bureaucracy that scientists have to put up with. So I think these, these were the main things that I took away from his talk.